In this video, I will be disassembling this 2020 Maserati Levante LED headlight. I would first like to stop and say thank you to everybody who has liked and subscribed my videos and helped me get to 1,000 subscribers. Here's the part number on the light. I will begin by cutting off the rest of the lens. I've disconnected the lens from the light. There's a single wire harness connector here on the outside corner that needs to be disconnected. The front bezel and LED daytime running light are all connected to the lens using a series of T10 Torx screws. I will go ahead and remove those now. I've removed all of the T10 screws. Next, I will remove all of the T10 screws holding the LEDs to the bezel. Lastly, I need to use a small flathead screwdriver to pop off this wire harness connector. The LEDs are now disconnected. Next, I will begin removing the T10 screws holding the inside pieces together. With the screws removed, we can pop this off of the bottom inside corner. There's a mount behind the high beam reflectors. I will start by removing this upper wire harness connector. With that out of the way, then I'm going to pop off this upper connector. With that upper connector removed, we can pull the LED unit forward. There is a wire harness connector here on the bottom. Next, I will remove the three T10 screws holding on the upper inside corner of the projector. Next, I will pop off the upper outside mount for the projector. <laughs> Lastly, I will grab the projector and rotate it towards the outside corner to pop it off of the third mounting bracket. Here you can see that the bracket was U-shaped and should easily rotate off. Next, I need to unclip this wire holder. And then from the top, I want to disconnect this wire harness connector. In order to release the wire harness connector on the projector, I'm gonna use a small flathead screwdriver and pop up this red tab. Once it's popped up, then I can push in this lock and pull up on the wire harness to release it. Thank you. 
Next, I will release the wire harness connector on the rear of the light. I will turn it to the right and then push it inside of the light. Finally, I will remove the wire harness by pulling out all of the wire holders. The wire harness is now free from the light. I will disassemble the driving light by removing the T10 torque screws. On the bottom of the high beam reflector is a plastic cover. I'm going to remove it by popping off the clips with a small flathead screwdriver. Next, I will remove the fan by removing the T25 torque screw. There are two T25 torque screws holding on this black cover. There are three clips holding on the front of this black cover and two T25 Torx screws holding on the back. Here we can see each of the LED units. They face forward and shoot across into the reflector. Each of these reflectors are held in place with a T25 Torx screw. In order to remove this inside reflector, I'm going to start by popping off this clip here. With this clip removed, there is now a clip here on this side. And there's going to be one more on the outside. There are two T10 torque screws holding on this board. There are three T10 torque screws holding on the circuit board. Each of the LED units has a plastic lens covering the LED. They are each held on with two T10 torque screws. Next, I will disassemble the projector. There are four T15 torque screws holding on the drive unit. There are two T10 torque screws holding on the reflector. The headlight is now fully disassembled. Here are the components from the light. This is the drive unit for the high beam.
Here's the inner LED drive unit. Here's the daytime running light drive unit. All of these LEDs are plastic welded into place. It cannot be easily removed. Here's the drive unit for the low beam projector. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.